after five. Okay, so we have round one here of a 10 threes international masters silver world to eight title. We've got Larry the Natural Akandayu versus Stan Nezlav Nenkov. Excuse me if I've not pronounced that right. Okay, so Larry the Natural got a very good style, very natural, as it says on the tin. Coming out, boss in the centre of the ring. I like the way through the last little right hand over the top there. Larry was the prize fighter winner, looking to push onwards and upwards. He used to box in Harrogate, I've just been told by Danny Connors. And he had a good, um, I believe he had a little in, international amateur experience. Yeah, he, used to, he uh, went to the Commonwealth Games, I believe, for Nigeria. Back in a few years ago, I remember seeing Larry Akindayo before I'd even had an amateur belt, um, boxing at a fair field doors against a fair Gareth Gardner from St. New Adden and, and Larry stopped him with body shots. But I remember looking at him then and thinking how quality he was. And uh, he was from Harringay. I remember one, like, a few of them boys, they went through the novices one year. Just in one club, they had Larry, Eric Oching, Ryan Taylor, Chris Evangelou. They had a great team there. And... Um, Larry was the man out of all of them, really, at that time. And um, I was always used to say to him about turning pro, and, you know, he turned, turned over, won the prize fighter. He's been a bit stale since then, but he's keeping busy, and uh, this should be his first, you know, title apart from the prize fighter that he, that he should win, really. He's uh, looking cool, calm, and composed here. You know, taking it as it comes, finding it quite easy by the looks of things. You're very right, he does look very composed. I've noticed that of his style. He's in a very, very composed style and very relaxed. He keeps a good guard as well. He's got good footwork. He's got a good, a good um, total package as a boxer. You can tell he's got experience as an amateur and he's done his work as a pro in the gym. He'd be interested to see where he could go and what's, and what's the next step after this, after this fight. If he's successful, of course. Good body shots there. I like the way he's just tracking his man down, just cutting him off. Get a success with the body shots. Ninkov at the moment, quite stout, not throwing a lot of shots. So round one to Akandayu, track his man down, cutting off the ring. Nenko quite stout up front, a lot of offensive shots. This one a 10 freeze, Marshall's title. It's an actual time, Josh Goodwin show. You call Bethnal Green, a nice bit of support for Larry the Natural Akandayu. And his 10 and his 10 freeze. International Master title fight. It's a second round. Akandayu in the green and white trunks. Nenko in the red trunks. Akandayu just pushed his man back. Throwing the body shot, then come with the uppercut of the lead hand. And another body shot. Good shots from Akandayu. Nenko just on the defensive, just covering up. Not so start the way of targeting Akandayo yet. Akandayo just closes man down really well. I like the way he closes the space and cuts off the ring. Nenko trying to find space himself, but not being successful. Double jab by Akandayo. 
then kind of a little bit of movement, but no offensive adjustments. Pokes out a jab. I can die with a one two. I can die with another jab. Just nice and relaxed. Just dropping left hand slightly. Inviting Nenko in. I like to see Nenko get more offensive, throw his jab, maybe feint a few shots, then come off with a jab, then right hand. Easier said than done. We've got some light that can die in front of you. Akundaya just dropping his hands, deep in his shoulders. Good shot by Akundaya. Good right hand there. Good shot by Akundaya. Good movement, just slipping his shots of Nenko. Nenko not finding the answer yet. I like Nenko to just edge forward a bit of offence. At the moment, just seems to be happy to just take the shots of Akandayu and just cover up. Nenko just needs to, even if you hold him off with a jab, double it up through one twos, but he's doing nothing at the moment. He's just happy to just move, move about, but not throw anything offensively. So it's round three of a scheduled ten. Akundayo comes out fast, letting his man know he's starting where he finished off. And then Kony needs to come on the offensive just a bit more, like I repeatedly saying, he's doing nothing. Akundayo's just happy to just fight his own pace and just rain his shots in. I like to see Akundayo just go through the middle of the defence of Nenko with an uppercut, or maybe come with right hand at the top, just like that. Nenko's happy to just stay in the shell and just move around. So it's round three. Akundaya comes with right hand over the top. Nenko doing nothing. What do you say so far, Danny? Yeah, Larry, pretty much having everything his own way. Um, looking, looking like the nickname, naturally, you know, so relaxed. He's letting his shots go, picking his shots brilliantly. And, um, yeah, he's, he's having all the success in the world. Ninkov, you know, he hasn't really got an answer for anything. Larry's picking his shots really well. Um, you know, and that's, you've got to have some, some of that credit, you know, goes to uh, his coach. Harry Andrews, who's a, who's, a, who's a brilliant trainer. Uh, I've seen them working together in the gym before. And now he's at the iBox gym as well um, with, you know, Alan Smith and all these fighters, the likes of Bradley Skeet, uh, Adam Dingsdale, you know, Louis Petit, them sort of guys there. They're all learning off each other. They're all buzzing. And, you know, look, Larry, look how he looks so at ease there, just working the shots, working the body, 100% relaxed, and he's just doing the business right now. Um, like I said, uh, free up, free up here. You know, just just doing doing as he pleases, really and truly. Um, you know, I think if he stepped it up a little bit more, uh, he could probably get a stoppage, if anything. But you know, you never know what his trainers told him. Might just be going out there trying to get the rounds in the bag. Um, yeah, he's looking he's looking really good at the moment, Larry. And uh, Nenkov just has, has nothing nothing to offer at all. He's just playing with him here. He's just, just playing with him. It's just it's literally, it's, it's like a lion playing with his food. You know, he, he, he's literally just at doing as he pleases, trying out his shots. And a uh, switch southpaw. Nice jab from the southpaw stance there. Slipping, evading shots. Nice uppercut there from Larry. Good jab. Like I said, I'd like to see a little bit more urgency. I think um, at least try, you know, try and get his, try and get this guy out of there. How about you? What would you watch? Oh, yeah, 
was, I used to do them a lot, man. All the time. Remember, remember, you know, him and Josh, man. All the time. Okay, so here we have it in round four of a schedule 10. Larry Okundayu pressing forward yet again, having it all his own way. Denko taking the shots, but not successful finding his offensive shots. I'd like him to be more offensive. I repeated this from the first round. He's just happy to just take shots of Larry Okundayu. If he comes like this and he steps it up, you could get him out of it early before the schedule 10. It's natural time. You'll call Bethany Green. Just Goodwin show. This one, international masters title fight. Larry Okandayu in the green and white trunks. Versus Nenko in the red trunks. He's happy to be on the defensive and just move around. He's keep a tight guard. Good shots from Akandayu. A nice bit of variety. Picking the shots really well at a steady pace. Not rushing anything too much. Right hand over the top. Changes to Southpaw. Now just throwing shots when he wants to throw them. At will, just working on little things. It's more like a sparring session for Akandai at the moment. Then coach is happy to just take the shots. Good combination there from Akandayu. I believe Akandai has moved to the iBox gym. He was at a TKO I've seen him operate before. End of the round. So we have round five. I'm giving it 4 0 to Okandayo at the moment. Nanko just doing nothing. Happy to pop the odd shot here and there or just be on the defensive and move around the ring. Okandayo just having it all his own way, tracking in and closing his man down. I'd like to see Akandai just step up a little bit more with some combinations now. Exactly the same as what I said, mate. Uh, he's just going through the motions. He's, there's no real urgency there to get him out. You know, Larry's a quality fighter and everyone knows that. He's, uh, he's When he's on form, he's unbelievable. But, you know, it's just, I'm just getting the impression that he's, he's finding it easy. He knows he's got an easy night. He's thinking... Why, why bother? Why take? Why you know? Why sort of take the risk? But if he could just get, if he got him out of there, you know, I think it'd make a little bit more of a statement. But he's just happy to play and he's content to, you know, move around, go through the motions, which wasn't what got him to where he was in the first place. To be honest, he needs to uh, keep boxing, keep moving. Good shots there from Larry. Left hook for the left hook whilst he was out of range. Nice jab. And a good right hand. Really, everything's being taken on the gloves, though. Nothing really landing clean, but Larry's looking a better man in there because basically Nenkov's not thrown a punch for four rounds. Sometimes it's hard to look good against someone like that when they just shut up shot, but. 
Larry's doing a good job of it at the moment, so can't really complain. So Akundayo just comfortable here, just coasting, a little bit of showboating. I like to see Akundayo just step it up and get his man out of there, really. He's just coasting through. It's just nice and easy. He's getting the rounds underneath his belt, which you want. It's all experience. Round six now. Let's see if Nenko's got anything any different. Larry with good movement. Tight defence. Stalking his man again. Comes with a left hook and right hand. A jab through the guard, just piercing through. A little flurry there. The question is yet again, Danny, what do you think Akandaya could do at, at a higher level? Do you think, you know, like what opponents are out there for him? Um, it, 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 it. Yeah. To be quite honest, uh, Gary Akandayo, you know, what, what, I think he's one of them fighters that rises to the level of who he's fighting. I think that um, if he, you know, you stuck him in with someone like Brad Skeet, which is obviously unlikely to happen at the moment because they're training together and they're on the same team. But if you put him in with someone like, you know, Bradley Ski, Frankie Gavin, um, you know, them type of guys at Lee Purdy. You know, I, th I think I think you would, you know, Vassal, them type of people there. Um, I think you would see, you know, a, uh, a an improved Larry Akandayo to the, a different man to the one, a different man to the one that uh, is in here tonight. You know, it's just going for an emotion here. You don't feel any sort of urgency, no sort of threat at all. But if you have someone placed in front of him that he's a bit more, a bit more worried about, you know, I think Larry Akandaya with Denton Vassal in the other corner, or Sam Eggington, or a Johnny Coyle, I think he would know that it, he's, you know, it's a different fight altogether. And I think you'd see a better. Ekandayo, you know, he, he, no question about it. He's, he's, he's quality and he's good enough to win titles. This guy is just missing with everything he's throwing. Um, but, you know, you've got to ask yourself sometimes, you know, fights like this, they're just there to tick you over and keep you warm. But, yeah, I'd, I'd love to see him at a title level sometime soon. Like I said, since the prize fighter, he's, uh, he's had a few problems, been a bit stale. But now they're in the past, they're behind him. Hopefully he can move forward with his career and uh, show from what that, what that talent's about. So you believe if he steps up the opponent, he'll perform better and be be more more enthusiastic or putting on a bit of power. The thing is, um, someone like Vassell would be a good fight, but do you think that'd be too early for him? No, I don't think so. Larry's uh, Larry's no spring chicken in boxing terms. I think he's about Larry's in his thirties. Uh, so, and the thing is, he. His quality, you can see he uses quality. He's got them, you know, every shot he throws is perfect. He's got a good defence. He don't get tagged with a lot of shots himself. Someone like Vassal, Sam Egan, and someone like that who's on the way up would be would be a good fight, I think. And at the end of the day, if you lose, you lose. It's one of them things. You learn from a defeat. Yeah.
Good backhand from Larry Ekendayo again. Switch to southpaw. Um, again, just going through the motions. Nenkov not throwing nothing back. He's just shut out shop. He's trying to survive and get through the fight. Um, you know, like I said, I think Larry could get him out of here if he really wanted to. If he put a bit of urgency into there. Who knows, maybe he's worried about shooting his loads as to speak and, and you know, blowing himself out if he lets his hands go so much. But, yeah, he's he's taking this fight easy. He's uh, winning this fight easy. I'd love to see a bit more, a bit more added to the, added to it. Like to see him stepping it up a little bit. Okay, so it's in the highest level. 